Sometimes we've got a picture that we want to use and we want to make part of it transparent or see-through. Uh, I like this picture, but I want to be able to use it somewhere else. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to say save image as and I'm going to add it into my temporary folder. You can see I've already downloaded it there. I'll go ahead and save it again. Uh, once I get it downloaded, I'm going to say show in folder and there's my picture and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to say open with GIMP. Now GIMP is a, stands for a graphical image manipulation program. It's a F editing program and I'm going to take this picture right here which is a nice picture. If I go to zoom, look I'm only zoomed at 31% right now. It's a nice it's a nice big picture. If I zoom to 100%, you'd see what I mean. So I'm going to take this picture and I'm going to make it so all the white on the outside is see-through so that I can use it in a presentation and it, and, it, and it looks much nicer and cropped and stuff in there. So first I'm going to go back uh, to my zoom so that I see the, the whole thing. Now what I want to make is all this white on the outside see-through. So you can see I've already got this color of green chosen. If you click on that, you can pick whatever color you want that's not in the picture. Uh, you don't want it to be anywhere in the picture or what you're doing won't work. So I'm gonna take that color green, I'm gonna take my paint bucket and I'm gonna drop it on the white. So basically I'm gonna make everything that I just colored in in green see-through. So I do that first and then I'm gonna go to image transparency oh i'm sorry layer transparency and add alpha channel uh, an alpha channel is a see-through channel on the picture uh, so that when i delete the green there'll be see-through behind it so now i'm going to go select by color i'm going to click on the green and i'm going to hit the delete key and now when I paste this in my presentation, the words are going to be there, the lines are going to be there, the picture is going to be there, but all the white around the outside is going to go away. So I'm going to finalize that by going File, Export As. Now it's a JPG image. In order to be see-through, it has to be PNG. So I'm going to change this JPG to PNG and hit Enter. And that is going to say, hey, do you want to save it that way? I'm just going to say hit export and it's done. And I close this and I'm going to discard the changes. So now I've got a PNG and a JPG. I'm going to show you what that really means to us on this presentation that I'm working on right here. So I've got this. I want to throw it. And I already did that with this image, by the way. Uh, I want to throw it on this slide and I'll show you the difference between the two. Uh, if I go to throw it on there. So here's that JPG image. And if I throw that on there and I move that over here, it covers up those words. In fact, you can see it's not see-through at all. If I take the exact same image that I just made into a PNG, and throw it on here. Now I can hug it up close to things. I can enlarge it more than I could have enlarged it before and it kind of looks like it's not, you can see it's, the picture goes out to here, but it's not covering up those words. So I can make graphics kind of overlap each other a little better. And I lose the white space around my images by doing that. And that's it. It's a quick and easy thing to learn how to do. You might want to watch this video while you're doing it to see how to make a image into a transparent image around the outside for any use you want to put it to. And that's it.